okay so in this assignment we'll see how to create your first ec2 instance and uh, how to connect to that instance so first thing i need to do is to log in aws console here i'll be using my uh, uh, im username and the password for logging in so you must have your uh, url link to log in sign into aws console and after you log in you'll see your account id or account alias that you have set populated you can put your username and then your password here after you log in you should see the uh, console of aws right something like this then what you need to do is go to the ec2 service if you don't find that service here you can just browse through here go to ec2 console and then you have to select appropriate region so it's not necessary that you will always be land into the mumbai region you may land into us region so go here on the right and select whatever region you want to create this machine into so here i'll be selecting the mumbai region so it's already mumbai uh, if you go to this instances there is already one instance running I'll just terminate this instance because I want to launch a fresh instance. So terminate means completely destroy the instance. You won't be able to access this instance anymore. You would have to recreate it. And you can create uh, typically as many instances you want, but by default limit is 20 instances you can launch in any region. Uh, if you want more instances to be running, you would have to raise and support case with AWS and then increase your limits. Okay. So as discussed for creating an EC2 instance, we will be creating a Linux EC2 instance and we will log in to that instance over SSH. So one thing uh, you require for SSH is SSH key, right? Uh, so first thing that we'll do is create a SSH key pair. So you can create as many SSH keys you want. So I'm just doing creating SSH key pair and you can give any user friendly name here. So I'm doing my key. So what this does is create two keys, the public key and the private key. So AWS keeps public key with itself and give us the private key. So private key is the one really with which you can log into your machine. So you should keep this key safe uh, because uh, this is uh, this is how you authenticate to your machine over SSH. So if you see the format of this key is .pem file, right? So you can store it in any location typically just uh, add a name of your region so that you don't confuse if you create the same key for different region right because the keys are different for different aws region so i'm just saying my key mumbai i save it so we'll come back to this later when we try to log into this box after my ec2 machine is launched so i go back to the instances and i say launch instance I'll be selecting this Amazon Linux free tier eligible Amazon machine image select. I will be selecting the instance type as T2 micro. Again, you see free tier eligible. I say configure instance details. Then I'm keeping everything here as a default. I'm not going to change as of now anything here. So you just <coughs> browse through it and say add storage. By default, I'm having the 8 GB of disk attached to this EC2 instance. So I'm just keeping it default as it is. Add tags. The tags are very important in order to identify your instances. So I'll put a name tag and say my server or my web server, whatever you want. It does not really matter how the instance is configured. This is just for your identification. If there are say hundreds of VMs, how do you really know which vm is for say dev environment or a production environment so you can tag it basically you can give a name to your vms and finally the security group so security group as discussed is in firewall we'll uh, dig deep into this when we learn about the ec2 but this is typically to allow access to this ec2 machine from outside right so say my security group or anything any friendly name you can give and as you know uh, we want to connect to this instance over ssh port right and ssh is 22 by default so here you see the type is ssh protocol tcp port 22 and the source now source is from where you connect so if you do this 000 slash 0 that means anybody on the internet can connect from anywhere 
that may be office that may be home because this this means all internet but we want to restrict access to typically our ip from where we are going to connect to this machine right so for that you can do my ip and it will automatically fetch your public ip from where you are connecting to so right now you are creating this from your home or an office so this is an external ip address of your home or office so that nobody else can connect from anywhere okay so i'm just saying review and launch i just verify everything looks okay launch here you select the key pair that you had created so here i am selecting now my key now what's the purpose of this key is what aws does is it puts the public key into your instance when it creates the instance and it has already given you the private key so that means as you know the authentication happen with the public and private key pair right so you provide a private key and amazon ec2 instance would have public key and it allows you to then log into your machine otherwise you won't be able to log in so you say launch instances okay it says my security group already exists so name of the security group i need to change so you may face around some issues i say name is 2 whatever so just it's a self explanatory typically all the errors okay if you click this you go to the dashboard again and here is a filter so many times there is a filter and you don't really see your instance listing and you see where my instance has gone typically you should clear out the filter to see all the instances so this is an instance it will take some time for this instance to be up and running so i'm just pausing video for a couple of seconds okay as you can see the status of my instance is running instance state and the status check is 2 by 2 <coughs> success so 2 by 2 uh, check pass that means instance is healthy and it's running so now what we want to do is connect to this instance using this uh, ssh pem file that we had received we had downloaded right so one thing i need require is this public ip address so don't confuse between the public and private ips this is a public ip ipv4 and there is a private ip so you can connect only using the public ip so i'm just copying this address uh next thing i want to do is to uh, as you know uh, in order to connect to ssh uh, we typically require the ssh private key which is in the pem format but in order to connect from windows we use putty software and putty requires the ppk format which is uh, eventually for the putty to work so whenever you want to connect using putty would have to convert the dot pem file into dot ppk file so the first thing we will be doing is converting dot pem file to ppk file and for that we will be using putty gen software not the putty one so i'm just loading the putty gen and what i need to do is load that pem file that i had downloaded from aws so here in the keys i had stored the pem file so you need to change the file types to all files and you will see mumbai my key mumbai right this is the key i open it and then i want to now save the private key so make sure you save the private key not the public key right so i'm saying private key i don't want to provide a passphrase passphrase is something like an pin like you have for a debit card so you can protect your key further using the passphrase but uh, as of now i don't want to do it and then i give again same name as dot pem but this time the format would be ppk right so my key mumbai the ppk that's it so i converted my dot pem file to ppk file note that if you want to connect to this ec2 machine using your linux workstation for example the one which you launched as an ubuntu vm then you don't need to convert it to the ppk format you can directly use it in the pem format so understand these things well okay so the last thing i will be doing is logging to this ec2 instance using its public ip using private key that we have using the putty okay so go here open the putty put your public ip and then we need to provide this pem file as a private key here pem or ppk for putty in fact so i just browse and i select this mumbai file okay so uh, typically Uh, when you will be using ssh probably you had used the login name and the password 
but here aws uh, says like login name and password are not safe and so they have just uh, restricted us to only allow key based authentication so two way you can log on to ssh right either login based password login password or uh, a key based so we are doing the key based uh, authentication to the ssh so i just say open it asked me to accept this host key so your computer will keep the identity of the ec2 machine as in somewhere so that that is called fingerprint so next time if you connect to the same ip and the host changes it would ask you to again save this fingerprint its registry that's for security region and by default for amazon linux uh, OS the default user is EC2 dash user. So if you do that, you are into the EC2 machine. So that's it. I mean, we could connect to this machine using SSH. Okay, now as we are in this machine, the next thing we want to do is to install a web server into this machine and see if we are able to connect to this web server over a internet. Okay, so for Amazon Linux or uh, any RHL Linux, what you can do to install web server is sudo yum install httpd. So it asks you whether you should download the package and install. You say yes. Okay, so installation is complete. Then next thing you want to do is to start the httpd service. Service httpd start. Right, and you can check whether a service has really started by checking the port whether it's listening okay so you can see that the port is listening that means we should be able to access this machine over the internet through the browser so for that i again need a public ip so this is the public ip of my machine and i just try to connect and it does not connect and the reason if you might have already guessed because in the security group we had only opened the port 22 for this machine to be connected and 22 is ssh port but here when you connect anything over the internet over http protocol it is port 80 by default so what we need to do is from this instance security groups go to this security group you will see the security group here right and for inbound rules you need to add the rule for http port so add rule you can select http and here you select from where which ip range you should be able to connect again you can do either put world or you can do my ip so i'm just doing my ip and you save it now after doing this immediately in maybe a second or so you can refresh this and you see you see the default httpd server page that means you are actually connecting to your web server but this is not interesting because this is like a custom page you want to put your content there so at minimum what you can do is uh, go to this directory where www html here if you create a file called index.html you will see that so the connection got reset i am just restarting the session okay so one thing you could do is uh, sudo so for every command you require sudo because uh, you are logging it as a ec2 user and this directory are actually owned by the root user and that's where to escalate your privileges you use the sudo command so one thing you can do is sudo vi where www html and then index.html and you can put this is my first web server and you save it if you are not used to vi as of now the other thing you could do is echo you can put this is my first web server in Mumbai region and you can redirect to the same file so you are not really 
uh, using any editor to write this file this is possible when you have a small content like this but otherwise you should learn how the vi works or any other unix editor works so it says permission denied because it shouldn't have okay so this does not work because uh, the redirection is done by the shell so what we will do is just escalate our privileges and will become the root momentarily so if you do sudo su you are now root here now you can do anything so again i am firing the same command like echo this is my first web server in my region and redirecting it to this file now that's done now if you go here and uh, just refresh this page you should see this this is my first web server in mobile again. so i think uh, pretty much uh, we did what we wanted to we created uh, an ec2 machine a linux machine we connected to that machine over the ssh using the private key and then we installed a http web server inside that and just created an uh, sample file there and accessed web server over the internet over port 80 just try it out if you face any issues just let me know and uh, don't forget to terminate your instance after you are done okay so you can go here to the instances and uh, you can select your instance from here and action state and say terminate the instance will be terminate okay thank you for watching all the best